What's up, brother? Some of the most popular Roblox games ever made are horror games. I have a dream of making the best horror game on Roblox. Something to make people shiver. Something to make people crap their pants. So I can have a streamer play it and get rich and famous. And maybe then I'll be happy. Let's get right into it. I want to make the scariest Roblox monster imaginable. I'm going to make a few different monsters and then I'm going to put it up to a vote. I'm going to give you guys a chance to choose which monster you think is the scariest and that I should build a game around. First things first, I need to pull up some reference images. Let's see what's the scariest thing possible. Arachnophobia. Maybe we start out with a spider. What if we made a spider with really sharp teeth? First things first. Let's start with his body. Spiders usually have two segments. They have the butt end and then the head end. So I think that a big butt would be scarier for some reason. Three segments for the leg. Ooh, looking nice and spider-like. And then, oh, this one right here. Spider-Man would never exist if this is what he got bit by. I'm telling you right now. That's pretty good, dude. You know what? I'm pretty scared from this. Not bad. It's just kind of a basic spider, though. Let's get a little bit unique. Hell yeah, look at this. Definitely more scary. I think there might be a a little bit too many parts on here but i'm gonna go on a blender and then i'm just gonna make the face i modeled the head in blender and then brought it into roblox studio Ooh, yeah <laughs> it's okay it needs something though i'm gonna get some textures not super this one's good place it on his face right there right on this and there we go i think that's looking pretty good not too bad so i think that's all i'm gonna do for the spider today also remember these are proof of concept so whichever monster you guys vote for i'm gonna hire an actual artist and modeler to make a scary monster that i can make a game around get on to the next one let's go back to the old chat gpt list fear of dogs oh it's scary dog nice big mouth or like an unhinged jaw type mouth that would be scary it's kind of goofy right now but i could see with some teeth pretty decent dog like a red dog would be kind of scary like a blood red oh my god yes looks like flesh or something that's gross i'm gonna go into blender it looks really goofy right now but you gotta trust the process man you should probably already know this by now dude let's do a nice mirror modifier oh i like how it's kind of crooked a little bit oh my gosh that's freaking sick all right and then to make this even better i want to add gums but i feel like that's gonna be hard all right let's get this out of this program look at that it's a good second monster and i would rate it a five out of ten for the third monster, I think I'm gonna go with something more thumbnail friendly. I thought it a big face and uh, simple would be nice and thumbnail friendly. I even reused the teeth from the dog and this one took me only a little bit. Nice proof of concept. This looks like he's gonna touch you inappropriately. I like it. Let's model it, bro. There we go. That's kind of grotesque. All right, now let's add the slug back. Yeah, that's good. I brought the model into Roblox and I set it up. What the? All right, we forgot a step. The result is pretty dang sweet, in my opinion. I think this is one of my f my favorites so far. Uh, eight out of ten. For this one, I decided to just stay in Blender and just try to come up with something. I thought, what's the scariest thing in the entire world? Skinny people. So I created a skinny monster, kind of like Slenderman, the Howler from the back rooms, Siren Head, all them skinny people. Gave them an, an absolutely baller name. Skinny Lenny. Whoa. And I brought him into the Roblox. Yo, that's Skinny Lenny, bro. Found this weird eyeball effect thing, and I just threw it on top of his head, and that looks pretty legit to me, bro. I love Skinny Lenny. I think he's my favorite. Nine out of ten, baby. Skinny Lenny's my boy. I had a weird idea. I looked down at my hand and scared the hell out of myself, and decided to turn that into a monster. I found a hand model online, and then I literally just attached a mouth to it. Common theme has been happening today, but I think this is a good finale, dude. Also gave him another, another epic name. We call this Handy Mandy. And then brought him into Roblox, colored him in, and that's our final monster. Honestly, it's between him and Skinny Lenny for me. That's another 9 out of 10. We got some tough looking creatures in here. What do we call this guy? We called this Harry Larry or something like that. We got Happy Hound, Pedro the Pedo looking at you, looking like he wants to grab you somewhere inappropriate. Skinny Lenny. 
And then we got Handy. And this dude is gonna run up on you and go <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with what we did so far. I'm gonna set up a poll. You guys can choose which one of these guys you think that I should expand upon onto his own game. Or leave a comment or another monster in the comments below. We need the main front runner. I'm making a speedrun parkour game and I'm going to release it in the next devlog of it. So check out the previous videos on that if you wanna see me release my first ever game. I'll catch you guys on the flippity flop.